Let's talk about SR Global. Right. Uh, where do things stand in terms of debt? What is the exact quantum? It's been brought down by 70,000. You give us a breakup. 70,400 crore rupees is the total amount that has been. What is it at currently? And what's the plan now? So I think uh, we'll talk about SR going forward. The story is not about the debt. Okay. The story is about what is the business and what's the growth hmm. which we see. Uh, I mentioned earlier that uh, with, the, with this transaction, we have completed uh, the demonetiz demonetization hmm. program which we had. Yeah. Uh, we have significantly delevered our balance sheet hmm. and we now have the ability to uh, reinvest in the rest of our portfolio. Hmm. And the rest of the portfolio is 75% of our hmm. overall yeah. business. Yeah. Uh, rest of the portfolio continues to have a revenue in the current year of about $15 billion. Hmm. Uh, the rest of the portfolio covers all of the sectors which we had earlier, which includes uh, oil and gas, uh, the two businesses which we, we talked about, hmm. metals and mining, hmm. uh, infrastructure and services. Hmm. And so we are looking at these, at these businesses as a time uh, where we have completed our consolidation, hmm. we have completed our monetization, hmm. we've got a stronger balance sheet, hmm. and now we're looking at, uh, at growing these businesses uh, in India, given that in India, we still have uh, a lot of growth potential hmm. in these sectors, which we believe we are very well positioned hmm. to take advantage of. Okay. You know, the reason I asked you, Prashant, is uh, that till date, the focus has been on deleveraging, demonetizing the entire business, uh, looking at uh, specific investors, bringing in capital, so on and so forth. So I want to understand exactly where you are with respect to debt and what is the plan to handle that overhand? Because the fact is that there is still a substantial amount of debt on the group books right now. I don't, I don't, we don't see it that way. Uh, you can't have what's assets, the amount, what's the you amount? can't have assets uh, built in the infrastructure space without debt. Hmm. I mean, the question is, are the earnings hmm. and in capable of servicing the debt? Hmm. And we believe going forward that hmm. uh, our debt is now fully serviceable Hmm. Uh, with the earnings which we will have from the rest of the business. Okay. We have, as I mentioned, delivered the holding companies pretty much substantially. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the operating companies, hmm. which are many of our companies are actually debt-free companies. Hmm. For example, the SR Oil UK refinery is a debt-free yeah. asset. Yeah. Many, many, many other assets are debt-free assets. Hmm. Of course, those are never spoken about. Hmm. But, uh, but, you know, uh, we believe that the debt has now been brought down Hmm. to a level which it can be managed, hmm. barring SR Steel, hmm. where yeah. we will, where we are going through a process hmm. uh, and we, we believe that the restructuring uh, should be done now hmm. in a time-bound manner. Okay. Um, is the debt currently at, uh, you know, I don't know if these figures are correct, but what was reported was that the debt is now down to 1.3 lakh crore rupees. Is that correct? No, no. Absolutely What's not correct. The exact also, we, I know you're trying to get me to give a number. <laughs> yes. And, and the reality is that uh, what we've said is mm. that the 70,000 crores which we have brought down is more than 50% of our overall debt. So that pretty much gives you mm. uh, a fair a fair idea of where we are. Mm. And we and and as I said, those that number is now a sustainable okay. debt number, barring SRT, which okay. we we hope to okay. we hope to address. Uh, last point on this: is there a, is there a need or requirement to refinance or restructure the remaining portion of the debt right now? As I said, principal, the principal asset hmm. which we need to do that is, uh, is the steel business okay. and that's already in, in the works. Okay. So I understand that uh, you know, the, uh, the steel business is right now going through the insolvency process and you know, there will be a proposal that is going to be discussed. But uh, what are the favorable options that you are looking at? Well, firstly, um, you know, SR Steel hmm. uh, got into difficulty primarily because hmm. uh, uh, the natural gas hmm. which was allocated by the government of India was suddenly disconnected. Yeah. And that, that created a problem where nearly for a period of three and a half years, hmm. the steel plant remained uh, n virtually operating at only 30% hmm. of its capacity. This is a problem which many, many sectors are facing yeah. where uh, contracts which have been... all steel companies have seen. Contracts which have been signed... Um, for various reasons, whether it's the courts or whether it is other reasons, uh, are suddenly getting reneged on, mm. and the aftermath is having to be dealt with mm. by the companies and by the banks. Yeah. Uh, so okay, we that's that's prin the principal reason for uh, SR Steel uh, 
uh, having uh, having this issue and and uh, we've got past that now hmm. uh, we believe we, we have now got you increased the ca capacity utilization as well right correct? capacity utilization has gone up hmm. uh, we are now operating closer to 80 percent of capacity hmm. and um, and natural gas is now being hmm. uh, got from international sources basically yeah. lng yeah. and we we moved on but the hmm. hurt, but the real problem which we faced hmm. was because of this because yeah. of this uh, contract which got reneged uh, on yeah. by the government uh, having said that we are now in we are now in this uh, process and uh, you know we we have give, as you know we were talking to the banks earlier hmm. for a restructuring yeah and uh, and as has been clarified by many people hmm. this process also uh, gives us the opportunity to restructure hmm. our debt hmm. uh, and uh, but do it in a time bound manner hmm. and do it within the confines of the IBC process. Okay. You're confident that the, that the whole procedure of inviting bids is not going to hamper your plans for SR scheme? No, I mean, we've gone through that even mm. even during the restructuring. Mm. We went through the same process. Process, exactly. So mm. it's it's no different. Mm. Uh, um, and yeah, we've been through that once before. It, it has to be done. It's part of the process mm. mandated under IBC. Mm. And uh, yes, we are, we are confident of providing uh, a resolution plan which is which is uh, you know which is okay. uh, I can't say the best but course, hopefully yeah. hopefully uh, uh, will be will be uh, amongst the best okay I'm not going to bother you about names because I wouldn't I know you won't answer but do you have bidders backed up as and when the bidding starts are there bidders that you have been able to shortlist that have supported you right now no we are going to we are going to put in a proposal you are. as SR not as, as SR? not okay. as bidders, yeah. Okay. No. So you are going to participate yeah, as I, and I when also the... mentioned that the hmm. transaction which we have just done hmm. also provides us the firepower to do hmm. it and hmm. to invest. Hmm. Uh, and you know, one of the investments will be uh, one of the investments if required is SRT. So okay. that's 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 part of the process of having a stronger balance sheet and hmm. the ability to uh, invest or reinvest in our okay. businesses. Okay. I'm very glad you said that. Would I be pushing my luck if I asked you how much? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Too early. Okay, fair enough. Uh, SR Power, lastly, um, what are the plans there? Because I believe that a substantial amount of debt reduction has gone through, but there is still at 20,000 crore rupees. There is also a plan to be able to expand the capacity. Uh, what is the outlook over there? No, we've largely completed most of the projects hmm. uh, in, in uh, power, hmm. and, um, and we have 5,000 megawatts hmm. of power yes. so whenever you talk about debt mm. you also need to talk about what is the the assets behind it mm. and what is the total investment mm. the total investment in the power sector is 30,000 crores yeah and there is about 10 to 12,000 crores of equity mm. which has also been invested okay. uh, alongside alongside the debt so that mm. if you look at the total equity invested in the total debt mm. it's probably in the ratio of you know two is to one okay mm. so uh, the sector is facing some Hmm. Couple of the areas in our portfolio are facing some challenges yeah. uh, because of again because of contracts which have got uh, yeah. reneged on. I mean, we had a couple of coal mines which got cancelled, hmm. uh, and that affected uh, one or two of the projects which we have, uh, and they need to be addressed along with the rest of the uh, industry. Yeah. Uh, but the the larger issue in my mind for power right now in the sector hmm. is the increase of demand, hmm. and that's something which has not happened at yeah. the pace. Yeah which one was expecting and mm. that's leading to uh, you know such low tariffs mm. right now mm. which are which are being difficult for the industry to absorb okay uh, what's the kind of outlook that you have as far as turnaround for power is concerned Three years? No, i mean i, I don't uh, yeah i, I think uh, uh, the turnaround will happen the moment we start seeing a pickup in demand mm. uh, and demand is is something which now mm. uh, with all the measures the government has taken, yeah. that's the next one which, okay. that's the next indicator okay. of growth and pickup in the economy. Okay. And we are all awaiting that. I can't say when, I can't <laughs> say how much, but we are all hoping that very shortly we'll see that. Okay. SR shipping, no plans for delisting? No, none. No? None, none right now. Okay. Yeah. Last question before we wrap up. Um, we've spoken about the road ahead. Uh, What's the next big bet that SR will make? Demonetization, uh, deleveraging, debt, and I know how tired you get of listening to that word debt over and over again. So I think, uh, again, I come back. Hmm. We've seen significant value which has been created in our portfolio hmm. in the past. Hmm. And we are excited because we believe 
the rest of the portfolio which we have also have similar value creation and growth opportunities mm -hmm. so there's no you know we're not trying to change the whole uh, game plan here mm -hmm. the game plan here is to continue to stay focused on the sectors which we are yeah. and the game plan is to create value in these sectors mm -hmm. and the game plan is to grow in these sectors mm -hmm. pretty much like what we've done in SR oil and delivered and pretty much like what we did mm -hmm. in telecom mm -hmm. and both those sectors during a period of time mm -hmm. were not looking that exciting mm -hmm. uh, and then you know we saw a big turnaround yeah. uh, in telecom we mm -hmm. saw a big turnaround in the oil and gas business mm -hmm. in the refining business and i'm confident that uh, you know we see these similar opportunities but and and that turnaround has already started in many of the sectors mm -hmm. the commodity cycle is much better now yeah. than what it was uh, a mm -hmm. couple of years ago so mm -hmm. uh, how, how long are you going to give yourself 5 years to be able to reach a a significant no, scale in terms of value much, creation? No, I, I don't think so. I think our capital expenditure program is completed. Okay. Um, we are, we are, we have a stronger, uh, we are in a much better position today after this transaction. Hmm. And we look forward to uh, the next few years, uh, you know, as, uh, as, any, as any other investor would, as any other group would, uh, with the opportunities which we have in front of us. Okay. Have the last two, three years been difficult, Prashant? No, they've been challenging, of course. It will hmm. be, be not fair to say that hmm. they've been challenging, but you know, that's, that's what you go through if you make, uh, you know, these large uh, investments and, yeah. you know, these are, sec these are sectors which go through cycles mm. and if you want to be a player in these sectors, you have to be prepared <laughs> to go through the cycle. So, uh, we've been through it in the past yeah. Uh, and, yeah, I mean... Any regrets? Something you could have done differently? No, I, I mean, I guess no, mm. nobody could have foreseen some of the problems which yeah. some of these sectors have gone through yeah. because of the regulation and because of the courts. Mm. Uh, I think that's been a learning for everybody yeah. who's been yeah. in these sectors. No, that's true. And investing in these sectors going forward, obviously yeah. you will be mindful of these additional yeah. risks yeah. Which, which we probably didn't see earlier. Okay. And that, that would make us, us and everybody else who's investing in these mm. sectors a little bit more conservative <laughs> on, their, on their projections. But other than that, no. Oh, Once bitten a few times shy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thank Prashant, you. for that comprehensive interview. That was Prashant Ruya in a very rare interview. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.